something substantial in order to get the attention of the clubs. Why? Because they're exclusive and fun, and they lead to a better life. People want to go on the internet and check out their friends, so why not build a website that offers that friends, pictures, profiles? I'm talking about taking the entire social experience of college and putting it online. The site got 2,200 hits within two hours? Thousand. 22,000. This idea is potentially worth millions of dollars. Millions? You stole our website. They're saying we stole the Facebook. I know what it says. So did we. A million dollars isn't cool. You know what's cool? A billion dollars. You're going to get left behind. It's moving faster than any of us ever imagined get it would behind. Let's sue him in federal court. I can't wait to stand over your shoulder and what you write is a check. If you guys were the inventors of Facebook, you'd have invented Facebook. Is there anything that you need to tell me? Your actions could have permanently destroyed everything I've been working on. We have been working on. Do you like being a joke? Do you want to go back to that? Mark! This is our time. You're being accused of intentionally breaching security, violating copyrights, violating individual privacy. Your best friend is suing you for $600 million. As for the charges, I believe I deserve some recognition from this board. Uh, I'm sorry? Yes. I don't understand. Which part? Wow, that was a good trailer for this lesson. Hi, I'm Michael Scott of the Hit Series Office. My staff and I really utilize all these social media sites to run our business effectively. You ask, what is social media? Let's watch this short movie about it. I'm sure you've heard the buzz. Social media may be the next big thing. What's it all about? This is social media in plain English. Let's take a visit to Scoopville, a town that's famous for ice cream. For over 20 years, Big Ice Cream Company has been making high-quality ice cream with a big factory in town. A few years back, the company did focus groups and found out that they could maximize profits by offering three flavors chocolate, vanilla, and strawberry. The residents of the town were content. They never thought it could be different. Then something happened in Scoopville. A new invention came to town. Suddenly, everyone can make their own ice cream for only a few dollars. This changed everything. The Smiths decided to make pineapple ice cream. The Joneses made ice cream with pecans. Soon, every kind of ice cream imaginable was being made by Scoopville's residents at very little cost. Of course, some ice cream was more popular than others, and that was okay. Sylvia's pickle ice cream had a very small but loyal following. That was fine. She only needed enough income to buy ingredients for her next batch. Jarrett's red velvet ice cream became so famous, he created his own store. Over time, people started to think differently about ice cream. It didn't always come from a factory. It also came from friends and neighbors. It became something to share, something to bring people together, Something to celebrate. Big Ice Cream Company still made the best vanilla around. And to their surprise, demand even grew. But it was the unique, original, and authentic flavors made by the residents that brought people to Scoopville. When they arrived, however, there seemed to be a problem. There were too many flavors. Visitors felt overwhelmed. They needed ways to find the new, the popular, the flavors that were interesting to them. Franklin had an idea for his ice cream. Outside his house, he erected a board and invited his customers to share their thoughts on his ice cream. They could use words to describe it, stars to rate it, and leave messages for others. People loved it. At a glance, visitors could tell what his ice cream was all about and learn from people like them. Over time, each resident had their own board. Sylvia's board showed that her pickle ice cream didn't please everyone, but was very unique and interesting. Jarrett's board overflowed with positive reviews and ratings. Soon, a few things became clear. First, their ice cream got better because they could learn directly from customers. Second, free customer reviews were more valuable than costly advertising. And third, the boards created a way for customers to find exactly what they wanted. The combination of new technology and new ways to work with customers helped the residents feel like a unique community. So. This is social ice cream, by the people, for the people. It turns out that ice cream and social media have a lot in common. Today, everyone has a chance to make their own flavors, thanks to free tools like blogs, podcasts, and video sharing. Plus, we now have new ways for real people to play a role in providing feedback, organization, and promotion. Whether you're a big, established company, 
an individual with loyal fans, or simply someone with ideas and opinions, social media means new opportunities to create and communicate with people that care. New tools are arriving in cities and towns around the world. When this change comes to your neighborhood, the choice is yours. What flavors will you make? I'm Lee Lefevre, and this has been Social Media in Plain English on The Common Craft Show. So, social media or media for social interaction, using highly accessible and scalable publishing techniques. Social media use web-based technologies to turn communication into interactive dialogue. Andreas Kaplan and Michael Henlein also define social media as a group of internet-based applications that build on the ideological and technological foundations of Web 2.0, which allows the creation and exchange of user-generated content. Businesses also refer to social media as consumer-generated media or CGM. A common thread running through all definitions of social media is a blending of technology and social interaction for the co-creation of value. So with social media on the internet, social networking sites have become widely popular. So what is social networking? <laughs> networks get things done. Whether it's sending a letter or lighting your home, networks make it happen. To get from Chicago to Santa Fe, we need to see the network of roads that will get us there. We see that Chicago is connected to St. Louis, which is connected to Dallas, which is connected to Santa Fe. Of course, people networks can help us with finding jobs, meeting new friends, and finding partners. You know how it works. Bob is your friend, and he knows Sally, and Sally's friend Joe has a job for you. This is a network of people, a social network. Yay! The problem with social networks in the real world is that most of the connections between people are hidden. Your network may have huge potential, but it's only as valuable as the people and the connections that you can see. Boo! 
This problem is being solved by a type of website called a social networking site. These websites help you see connections that are hidden in the real world. Here's how it works. You sign up for a free account and fill out your profile. Then you look for people you know. When you find someone, you click a button that says Add as Friend. Once you do this, you and that person have a connection on the website that others can see. They are a member of your network and you are a member of theirs. What's really cool is that you can see who your friends know and who your friends' friends know. You're no longer a stranger, so you can contact them more easily. This solves a real world problem because your network has hidden opportunities. Social networking sites make these connections between people visible. Like a map for a highway, they show you the people network that can help you get to your next destination, whether it's a job, a new partner, or a great place to live. Your network is suddenly more useful. You can get started at these sites, LinkedIn, Facebook, and MySpace. I'm Leela Fever, and this has been Social Networking in Plain English on The Common Craft Show. A social network is a social structure made up of individuals or organizations called nodes which are connected by one or more specific types of interdependency, such as friendship, kinship, common interest, financial exchange, dislike, personal relationships, or relationships of beliefs, knowledge or prestige. As the movie trailer suggested, one of the big social networking sites that we use now is Facebook. This is a fabulous way to reach customers and new customers. Obviously, you can use Facebook, MySpace, Vux, or any of the other thousands of social networking sites. These sites have now generated a lot of business and money. So what does this mean for businesses? Let's watch a short video why it is so important to everyone.
Well this has been fun but I have to get back to work. So keep working hard and maybe one day you too can be in charge of a business or even come up with the next big thing.